Time to fire up the rocket stove once more. I got a few twigs in there to get it going. Top's over there. I'm going to scrape that off while it heats up. And once again, the rag I oiled it down with. A little paper towel with the oil on it that I use to keep this seasoned. That'll get going real, real quick. Oh yeah, gonna be good. Well, no, this isn't authentic dumplings. You might criticize me for them not being real. These are designed to be easy. These are designed to be delicious and they're designed to be not too expensive. So not a lot of time, not a lot of money and a good hearty meal. You can't deny that. All right, fire's going good now. Got a good roar down there. That's starting to get hot. Let's get the pot hot. Got that lodge on there. Getting hot. Hey, welcome to Big Blue Barbecue and other things I want to do. And this is my easy chicken and dumplings recipe. Yes, I can make chicken and dumplings from scratch. I make my biscuits from scratch. I just use the way I make biscuits to make my dumplings. And uh, you boil your chicken up and you add half and half milk and all that jazz. But this is real easy if you're camping and stuff like that. Um, what we're going to do is let me come over here. Let me, let me get where I can show you these ingredients right here, okay? Um... Key ingredient, one can of condensed family size. Gotta say family size on it, all right? Cream of chicken soup, all right? You want that. One personal size, small can, doesn't say personal size on it. Just says cream of celery soup, all right? You want some chicken, boneless skinless chicken of some sort? I'm using chicken thighs. I'd say about half a dozen chicken breasts or half a dozen chicken thighs. I'm using that much because that's what I got. That's what I got, I'm gonna use, all right? I got more in the freezer, but I'm not defrosted. And I would say that's probably maybe five or six uh, chicken thighs, all right? I, I put boiled eggs in mine. So I've got three boiled eggs, okay? There's gonna be some uh, dried bay leaves and some celery tops, all right? And uh, I don't like a lot of stuff in there. I know people like in the Midwest when they make chicken and dumplings and stuff, they, um put like peas and carrots and all kind of stuff in there. To me, peas and carrots are for chicken pot pie, not for chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings, I want chicken and dumplings, all right? Uh, some people have a little bit of onion in there. I don't even chop up onion. I use onion powder, I'm using garlic powder. I'm gonna use a little bit of parsley toward the end, a little dried parsley toward the end. And um, the bay leaves and the celery leaves, that's coming out, all right? So I got two bay leaves and celery leaves, that's coming out. Anyway. I cook this inside a lot, but tonight I'm cooking it on my rocket stove because I love to fire up my rocket stove. Nice little brisk evening, not too cold, not too, uh, not very warm. You know, the hoodie's fine, you know, and uh, I'm enjoying having that fire going at that rocket stove. Anyway, real easy recipe to make chicken and dumplings. You could say it's not authentic chicken and dumplings. You can't deny it's a good hearty meal. Look, might be wondering what I'm gonna use for the dumplings. Tortillas. Tortillas para papá, tortillas para mamá, las bonitas para mamá, las quimeditas para papá. Except I'm cooking them, so I ain't burning them. Ha ha. That's a Mexican tongue twister, if you didn't know it. Spanish tongue twister. Anyway, um, you want to get the soft ones. You see where it says super soft? That's what you want to do. About eight of these is good. I might put 10 in here. I got 12 left in this package. Probably going to put 10, but uh, I might put eight. All right, so there you go. About maybe half a dozen chicken thighs. Eight tortillas or so, can of cream of chicken soup, can of a uh, condensed, can of um, condensed celery soup, because we're going to be adding, you know, the broth that we boil the chicken in. That's going in. That's why you want to get the condensed soups, all right? All right, let's get this done. Right, that pot's hot. Not sizzling yet, but you can see it's starting to cook already. Let's get that chicken all flattened out there. I'm going to get just one layer of this chicken across the bottom. It was previously frozen and has now defrosted. You could probably do this from frozen since we're boiling it. So these are just chicken thighs. Let me put this camera down and get this done. All right, I'm dumping in some water. Just enough to cover the chicken. Remember, we're gonna be mixing it with that condensed soup. And the chicken's gonna let out liquid, so that's enough right there. Two dried bay leaves and pop of celery with the leaves on it. 
I've got table salt and three ground cracked pepper. Yes, I got a pepper cracker, yes. But I wanna get that salt off the bottom there. Get that in there. You know what? There we go, the salt's in there. All right, I'm gonna let that boil, but I gotta put some eggs in there. So I'm gonna put in three eggs, just like that. By the time the eggs are done, after about 10 minutes, I know my chicken is done. Remember, we want to boil the heck out of this chicken because we want it to be, you know, super, super tender. And the lid is on. Ooh, that, that pot's getting hot. Getting hot. Look at that fire down there. Yes, indeed. Love my rocket stove. All right, I'm going to use 10 tortillas. I got two stacks of five. That's a stack of four. Maybe I'm using, no, that's, that's five. All right, I recommend eight. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm putting in 10. What I'm doing, take this pizza cutter and I'm just gonna cut them like that into strips and then cut them this way, you know? So anyway, let me get them cut. They're gonna be able to, you know, cut them like this. And you could use a knife so that they're about uh, yay big. All right, pizza cutter did its job, about yay big. Obviously these are flour tortillas, not corn tortillas. If I'm making tacos, I use corn tortillas. Making dumplings, I'm using flour tortillas. Come on, folks. I'm using uh, some white oak and post oak. Uh, some of it is, you know, firewood that I've cut down. Some of it is just yard scraps. Cook it in the pot so it doesn't really matter if I got a lot of bark or something on there. But anyway, that's getting that pot hot and it's boiling inside there. Can you hear that roar down under there? Oh, that's hot. That's why they call it a rocket stove. Man, I love this thing. So glad Dale got it for me. All right, let's, uh, let's boil in real well. That chicken's about done. I'm gonna pull that chicken out of here, pull those eggs out of here, get rid of the bay leaves and the celery. All right, one egg out and just set it right over here. I'm gonna let them cool off a little bit and chop them up like that. I'm gonna dispose of this celery, dispose of the bay leaf. The other last egg out. Another bay leaf there. It'll float after I get this chicken out. Wash all that pepper off that chicken. I usually don't like to do the stock part with the pepper in it, but I had it out since I'm cooking outside. I had it mixed in with the salt, so that's the way it was tonight. I'm gonna pull off chicken out. You see what I'm doing, and then we're gonna chop the chicken up, and we'll start uh, putting this together. All right, in goes the cream of chicken. Well, my tripod's been broken for a couple weeks. I gotta get another tripod. So let me get this chicken soup in there. We get that and the celery. Now, in personal size. I guess it's personal. If the other's family size, can of cream of celery soup. I'll scrape all that out with the rubber spatula, just like I did with the cream of chicken. All right, now that my two cream soups are in there, the big can of cream of chicken and the small can of cream of celery, I'm just gonna mix this and bring it to a boil. And while it boils, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna chop up my uh, chicken and eggs that are right over there on that table. Yeah, I could do them out here, but my knife's inside, so I might as well just go inside and do it. All right, Did you see? Eggs are perfectly boiled, but I'm not gonna peel them with one hand. All right, it's about time to stir this up. Add my chick chopped chicken and the, um, hadn't come to a boil yet, but I let my fire die down a little bit while I was chopping the chicken. Had a little issue with my dogs trying to get a piece. So we'll stir this to make sure it's all smooth. The simmering's about what we want right now anyway. All right, there's my chopped chicken and my eggs. Aren't they beautiful? They're going in. Now, I understand people in the Midwest put peas and carrots and stuff like that, or in Southern states that think they're the Midwest, or Midwestern states that think they're Southern, like Tennessee and Kentucky. Maybe they put peas, but down here in the Gulf South, I don't know, Mississippi style, Louisiana style, I don't put peas and carrots in there. I do put boiled eggs, but if you don't put boiled eggs and you want to drop in a can of peas and carrots, be my guest. 
Now I'm gonna add the rest of that salt and pepper. By the way, if you're wondering, it's two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper, and I will probably adjust the seasoning in a little bit. All right, so I have stirred in the salt and pepper. Let me see if I can do this without the tripod, but here's the crucial step. You wanna lay these on here like this in sort of a layer. You know, you can do it a little faster than what I'm doing, but sort of one little layer like that. So I'm gonna get a little layer of uh, tortillas on here. Do not just dump them in there by the handful. They will clump up and stick together and they will not be good. So I'll be right back once I get a one layer. One little layer of these tortilla strips across the top and we just kinda wanna dunk them in and under. Dunk them in and under like that. And that way, if you just put them in all together, they kind of get all stuck together. So just give the whole thing a stir. And then I'm gonna do another layer and another layer till I'm out of tortilla chips, or tortilla um, strips, I guess I should say. Well, I got them all in there. They're all stirred up. It's about time to let them simmer. I'm gonna kind of let that fire go down because I got the fire raging right now. But I want to come back to a boil and then I'm gonna pull maybe some of the wood out and let it simmer. If I was on a stove, I'd bring it to a boil and then let it simmer. Listen, before I put the tortilla strips in there, I was supposed to put in uh, garlic powder and onion powder. But when you're making a video and you're cooking outside and you're keeping dull, Labradors away from your chicken and whatever, sometimes you just forget to do things. So that's a little bit of garlic powder. Might've put a little too much. Just do this to taste. I tasted it and the salt is good in there. I may add a little bit more black pepper or just add black pepper to mine as a servant. And that is onion powder. So garlic powder and onion powder is what you just saw. I'll go ahead and stir this up in there. I'm gonna add one more thing to it. It smells good. Gosh, I love chicken and dumplings. And this is such an easy way to do it using the canned cream of chicken soup. You can use half and half milk or whole milk or something like that and let it stew for a long time. But this is easy, real easy. All right, the last thing I'm gonna add is just a little bit of parsley flakes. This is just dried parsley. You wanna use fresh parsley, knock yourself out. But I mean, this is, we're using tortillas for dumplings here. So, so parsley flakes it is. And the parsley, those dumplings are already starting to puff up. They do puff up and they do get good. I'm telling you what, they're gonna be delicious. All right, lid goes back on after I stir it in the parsley and I'm gonna let that come to a boil and then I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn it down by probably pulling some of that wood out and let it simmer a little bit after it comes to a boil for about 10 or 15 minutes. As a, if I was in the stove inside, I'd just turn it down. Rocket stove, I get to have a little bit more fun. Besides, that fire's coming too much up my uh, fire stack there anyway. All right, these are about ready. They're boiling. The tortilla dumplings have gotten fucked up. Chicken all looks good. Look, I raised my family on this. I can make it from scratch. I have made it from scratch. But this was, you know, easy on a weeknight or work night. Or they come home from ball game night using tortillas instead of making up biscuit dough. Using a can of cream of chicken stoop instead of making it with your milk and your stock and all that stuff and seasoning it. I'm telling you what. Okay, you may say these are authentic chicken and dumplings. It's a good hearty meal. And like I said, if you're one of those who want to put peas and rice in yours, you do that. If you don't like boiled eggs in yours, don't put them in there. Anyway, this is going to be good. Like I said, my kids grew up on it. And uh, we're ready to eat, y'all. This is going to be delicious. First time I've ever made it on the rocket stove from Patriot Metalworks and Smokers. I'm going to leave a link down below so you can uh, get that. If you like that uh, yellow spatula I was using, this one earlier. Got that from Thermalworks. I'll have a link down below to that. And there'll be links for this uh, Lodge Dutch oven too. I absolutely love this thing. One of the most important pieces I've got in my kitchen and my outside cooking arsenal. All right, I wanna show you what these look like in the inside lighting. We were outside and it was night. Absolutely delicious. The tortillas have gotten good in dumpling size. Those two, you see, they're not stuck together. They're just two together. If you gotta put them in a layer. What I wanna point out, is I use Campbell's cream of chicken soup for this. I'm not afraid of store brands for a lot of things, but the store brand cream of chicken soup, uh, whether it's Food Club or Great Value or whatever, they usually have a real dark or bright yellow. It looks almost looks like a caution light. The um, yellow tint on the Campbell's cream of chicken soup 
is just about right for chicken and dumplings in my opinion. Uh, the store brands work, they just, the color is off. They're just really bright. I'm sorry, my son's in there playing video games, making noise. He knows I'm doing it. He knows he, he needs to be quiet. But anyway, I'm about to, he's about to stop eating and come eat this because this is absolutely. Great.